Welcome to this quick start guide for the Premiere Pro Extension Architect Pro. If you're looking to speed up your editing process and work more efficiently on the timeline, then the Architect Pro Extension is just what you need. One of the key features of the Architect Pro Extension is the ability to quickly and easily insert items from the Project Manager onto the timeline. You can choose a specific item from the Project Manager and insert it at the current playhead position on the timeline, aligned with marker if you have any. This feature can save you a significant amount of time when working on complex projects, as you no longer need to navigate through the project manager and manually drag and drop onto the timeline item you constantly use. I should also mention that I use auto hotkey on Windows and click click on macOS to press buttons of Architect Pro that makes my work a lot faster this way. I'll explain later in a video how you can easily set it up with my template. Another great feature of the Architect Pro is the ability to insert a selection of clips onto the timeline either on top of each other or in a row. But honestly, I mostly use it to insert one item at a time on a timeline because I can just select an item I need and press keyboard shortcut instead of manually finding out the right track and drag and dropping it. Also if you have marker on a clip, it inserts item aligned with playhead, which really saves a lot of time during sound design. I have markers on peaks of risers, whooshes, and other sound effects. For example, there's a peak in action and I need riser leading up to this moment and boom sound effect at the end. I select riser and boom, press shortcut, and just like that, I have everything placed at the right moment. I don't think I need to show you how much longer it takes to do it manually. Another powerful feature of the Architect Pro is the ability to cut, copy, and paste clips on the timeline. Select one or more clips on the timeline, press cut or copy, and then paste them at a different location in your sequence. Extension will automatically configure targeted tracks, so you won't overwrite other clips. The Architect Pro extension also includes a feature that allows you to move selected clips up the track after the next unselected clip. So instead of scrolling up the timeline and dragging all the clips up, you can do it instantly. Also, Architect Pro has the ability to move selected clips down the track. This feature can be particularly helpful when you're working with audio clips on the timeline that are scattered across multiple tracks and you want to organize them more efficiently. To limit track where you want to move clips down you need to lock the track, that will be an end point. If you need to swap two clips track position, select them and press reverse arrows key. Now, let's talk about track limiter. It allows you to set a starting track point for your clips when inserting them on the timeline. This feature can be useful if you have specific tracks dedicated to different types of content in your project, such as music, dialogue, and sound effects. Track limiter affects all operations, except the ones that move clips on a timeline. Also I've created minimalistic UI, because I think that original one is too large for single monitor users. Go to Window, Extensions, and there you'll see two versions of Architect Pro. Use whichever you prefer, and switch anytime. Now we'll set up Architect Pro to cut copy and paste clips in Premiere Pro. Note, that if you used AE Scripts Manager app to install Architect Pro, and you have shortcuts for timeline set up by default, you can skip this section entirely, come back to it if extension won't cut copy or paste for you. Before we begin, I would like to apologize for the inconvenience of setting up Architect Pro. Please note that Premiere Pro extensions have limited access to program functionality, including keyboard shortcuts, which is why we need to use workarounds. In installed folder, go to Actions and Shortcuts Setup. If you on Mac OS go to Mac folder, and if on Windows, go to Win folder. If you installed extension with Manager app, you can go to Product Website and get that folder at the bottom of the page. We'll start with Windows. Open Cut Copy and Paste Setup folder. Then in Premiere Pro check what keyboard shortcuts are used for, Timelines, Shift 3 by default, Cut, Copy and Paste, Ctrl X C and V by default, if you have them set up by default, Copy Architect Actions folder, open shortcut to program data, and paste it there, if you have different shortcut for, Timelines, go to different shortcut setup folder, and there you can pick another shortcut combination that suits you, copy Architect Actions from it and paste in program data. If none of the options fit your shortcuts, there are two options. Number one, if you bought the extension, you can send me shortcuts you use for those actions via support ticket, and I'll send you back customized files. Or number two, you can customize it yourself, which is not hard to do, and I'll show you how to do it right now. If you open Architect Pro in Actions folder, there you'll see three executable files and three auto hotkey files. Executable files are just converted auto hotkey files that can be used by Architect Pro. To customize it, you'll need to download and install auto hotkey from the official website. You need to download 1.1 version of auto hotkey for the script to run. First, open action you want to customize by right clicking it and pressing edit script. These are representations for Control alt and shift so as you can see, script send Shift-3 to activate timelines, and then Control v to paste. Change combination to whichever shortcut you have in Premiere Pro, save and close the file. After that, open folder where you downloaded AutoHotKey. 
go to compiler and open oct2exe.exe. Drag and drop changed file into source, script file, field and click convert and that's it. Repeat the same process for other actions and you done. Now let's set up Architect Pro to cut, copy, and paste for you on macOS. First things first, check Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts. Open Premiere Pro and see what shortcuts are assigned to, Timelines, Shift 3 by default, Cut, Command X by default, Copy, Command C by default, Paste, Command V by default, then, check if Premiere Pro actually switches from extension window to timeline window by clicking a somewhere in extension window, and then pressing keyboard shortcut for timelines. In some cases, if you have Shift in keyboard shortcut, Premiere Pro won't switch. That's why I changed my shortcut for timelines to control option 3, and now it switches to the timeline panel. Then open Mac, cut, copy and paste setup folder. If you installed extension with manager app, you can go to product website and get that folder at the bottom of the page. If you have keyboard shortcuts mentioned before set by default, copy architect actions folder, open alias that goes to library, application support, and paste folder there. If you have different shortcut for timelines, go to different shortcuts combination folder, and there you can pick other alternatives to the timeline shortcut, copy architect actions folder and paste it into application support. If you have different shortcut for actions mentioned before, open architect actions folder to customize them. Right click on action you want to customize, open with other and choose any desired text editor, for example textedit.app. There you'll see Apple script that is ran via shell script. Open key codes image. There you'll see codes for keys. Change key codes in open file. First line that starts with key code should be assigned to timelines Premiere Pro shortcut. If you have two command keys in keyboard shortcut you need to put them like this. Second key code line should perform cut, copy, or paste action. Save and close the file. If you have timelines shortcut not set to shift 3, don't forget to change it in every file. Then check file kind. Files in architect actions folder by default should be Unix executable file. To check it, right click the file, go to get info and look for kind. If for some reason file has different kind, you'll need to convert it to executable file. Open terminal. Type in chmod plus x and paste path to file. To get path to file, in finder go to view and click show path bar. After that highlight needed file, right click it in path bar and copy the path. Put the path in quotes and press enter. After that selected file should be a Unix executable file. You'll need to grant permissions to Terminal and Premiere Pro in Preferences, Privacy and Security, in Accessibility, and Automation sections. Usually, you'll be asked to grant the permissions when trying to use Architect Pro. Now we'll create keyboard shortcuts for Architect Pro to perform all the actions much faster. We'll start with Windows. I already did an explanation about how you can set it up in another video, covering different Premiere Pro extension. Just apply all the information from the next segment to Architect Pro. Unfortunately, Premiere Pro doesn't support keyboard shortcuts for extensions, but there's an auto hotkey template to easily set it up. First, you'll need to download and install auto hotkey from the official website. You need to download 1.1 version of AutoHotKey for the script to run. After that, right-click on template.ahk and click on Edit Script. It will open the code itself in Notepad. Open Premiere Pro and the program called AutoHotKey Window Spy. Now, choose where you want Transmitter to be located on your screen. After that, hover over the Align Anchor button. Remember those numbers. And replace the current ones. After that, we'll configure the key combination that will trigger the script. These are the representations of Control, Alt, and Shift. So, the shortcut is now set to Control Shift E. When you're done, save the document, close it, and double-click it for the script to run. Now, every time you press the keyboard shortcut, it will press the Anchor Align button for you. To add another auto hotkey script just duplicate the text and repeat the actions. Now let's look at how you can set up keyboard shortcuts on macOS. At first I thought that on Mac this would be much easier, since there's a built-in Apple script that acts almost like an auto hotkey on Windows. But as it turns out, Apple script doesn't actually click on the screen, it sends input that doesn't work in Premiere Pro, so we'll have to go another way. For that we'll need a homebrew and click click. First we'll install homebrew. You can do it by double-clicking Install Homebrew file or go to Homebrew website. Copy the code, open terminal, paste it there and press Return. You'll be asked to enter the password, type it out, press Return and installation will start. After installation, copy and run in Terminal 2 line of codes individually. If you can't do it in current terminal window, 
open new one by pressing command N. Then, we will install ClickLick. You can do it by running, install ClickLick, or go to ClickLick website. Copy the code to install it via Homebrew and run it. Don't close the terminal after it's done, we'll need it later. After that, in keyboard shortcut setup folder, right-click template.workflow file, open with, automator. As you can see this workflow runs a shell script with ClickLick, that presses mouse in specified coordinates and returns mouse to initial position. For it to work properly you'll need to input path to ClickLick, and screen coordinates. To get the path to ClickLick, in terminal check the path where it was installed, copy it, go to finder, press command shift G, paste the path, locate, ClickLick, file, click it, and copy the path. Then open automator file and paste the path instead of the sample one. After that, we'll go to Premiere, choose where you want, Architect Pro, to be located and press, Command Shift 4. Then hover over the button you want for the script to press, remember the coordinates, and change them in automator window. And that should be it, to test if it actually works you can press, play, button. After that, save the file, close it, duplicate for as many shortcuts as you'll need, and customize them. Then double click them to install, if nothing is happening, right click the file, open with, automator installer, then, go to preferences, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts. In the opened window navigate to services, general and there you'll see recently created workflow. If you don't see it, reopen the preferences. Now you can set the keyboard shortcut to trigger the script. Important note, is that keyboard shortcuts need to include command key. Otherwise it won't get triggered, thanks Apple. And finally, it's time to test it in Premiere. Check if selected shortcut is not used in Premiere Pro, because otherwise it won't work. And now you finally have working keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro. That concludes everything I wanted to share regarding the setup of Architect Pro. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to open a support ticket, and I will be happy to assist you. Thank you, and take care.